Ford Focus and Fiesta clutch reset procedure, clutch locking. If you're going to be reusing your clutch, you need to lock it before you put it in. Then you'll need to release it once it's in the transmission. I'm going to link a product below. It's going to be the kit to reset it like this. It looks like this here. This is a custom wrench here that I have. <laughs> this wrench I have for turning that release nut, I'll show you. I am going to go through the actual procedure itself, but first I want to show you a couple things here. This is a uh, mount for the clutch. Put it in a vise like that. See the flat spots? It goes in there. Once you've got that tightened down here, get this little washer. You want to get this bracket on here. It bolts in right there. Mine's broken. <laughs> and what this is going to do is a clutch stud is going to go in this hole and you're going to snug it down and kind of hold the clutch stationary. Take the clutch that you're going to reset, make sure this is out of here, and uh, you want to sit this face down on here. Kind of got it slid down on there. And once again, you can go ahead and install this bracket on here now. Once again, I have a broken off bolt in this one, but uh, you kind of get the just here. Run down the bolt and put a nut on there. There's two clutches to lock. I'm going to start with this outer one here, and then we'll do the inner one. On this outer one, we'll be pushing down and uh, putting these tangs right here on here. There's three of them. And on the inner one, it's just, uh, we're going to lock these pins here inside the holes on the pressure plate. There's three sets of them. It appears that this bearing right here, you need to put on the bearing face surface of this nut. You see that provision on there? So you want to set the bearing down like this, actually. And then put the nut down like that. Get it finger tight only at this stage. Okay, stop right there. You will probably want two people for this just to help. I'm going to sit the uh, tool down in here. And this is where it goes. See? See there's two dots right there. There's two holes right there. And then there's that long um, hole in the pressure plate there. There's three different spots where you're going to want to put that. There's the other one. It's going to be in the same location, that same wider hole there. You're going to want to turn clockwise to release the uh, locks on the clutch there, and then run this nut down flush. I have a cut-off wrench here, 1 1 16th, that I use to uh, tighten the, the uh, nut down clockwise. But at the same time, once again, you have to hold this clockwise. Um, in order to turn this clockwise, you might need to, it might be froze up, so you might need to tap this with a hammer, then it'll break loose and you'll be able to turn it. But first, make sure that the uh, tool didn't fall down in that other hole. Make sure it's still just touching this right here, this upper portion with the holes in it. It may have fallen down in there and you're just pushing on the case of the clutch itself, so make sure you're not doing that. All right, so I had to just kind of pop the handle with a hammer just a little bit. It didn't take much, but as you can see now, hold that clockwise all the way like, like this, and then run that nut down with your other hand all the way down. Once again, I do have a 1 and 1 16th that I've kind of cut down just to make it easier to maneuver. <laughs> um, all right, I've got it turned clockwise, the lock release. Now I'm going to rotate this nut down. All right, for camera demonstration purposes, I am holding the red-handled tool right now with my left hand in, in the release position. Like, see if I let go, it's going to release. Nope, maybe not. But um, you want to keep holding that tool to the clockwise position, and I have this nut run down flush. At this point, with your third hand, <laughs> go ahead and... Uh, looks like with this nut run down all the way, it's kind of holding this, so I don't need to keep holding that. But... Uh, you want to get all three of these tabs on those ridges in there. And then as you hold them there, you want to release this nut. So you really want a second set of hands. So um, hold all three of these onto that ridge and loosen the nut off. And that'll be locked. Once again, that red handle thing, I'm not really needing that anymore because the uh, release is it's kind of staying in the released position right now. The locks on there, those springs. Um, so at this moment in time, I've held these two on here, and now they're catching on that ridge. And then this one has some slack in it still, so I'm going to loosen this nut. And I'll hold that on there. See? There you go. Um, all 
All right, guys, this uh, first clutch here is locked. It is ready to go in, except I still need to lock the other clutch now. Okay, there's the first tool. It's off of there. Now you're going to take this uh, biohazard symbol thingy here. <laughs> Find out where it slides in. It's one way. You'll feel it. It has three sets of these four tangs on it, and it'll slide down inside the pressure plate for the first clutch that we locked. See? Kind of requires a little effort there, but... <laughs> And uh, these four teeth, just by the way, they contact the pressure plate tangs that have those locks on them. You see those locks? Those little silver tongues there? When the pressure plates push down, it's going to let those tongues pop into some uh, holes that are on those tangs. And once they're in the holes, it is locked. However, there's another red handle thing <laughs> that you need to use to unlock the clutch. And you're going to want to push on these right here. There's one here, one here, and one here. Go ahead and just get this bearing down on here, get that ready to go. All right. Finger tight. Okay, stop right there. Now it's time to get out the uh, big red handle thingy. <laughs> okay, I've got it where there's one of the ridges kind of pushing on the tongues here. See that? All three of them at the same time. You want to push on them uh, right here. And if, as you can see, it's kind of froze up. So I'm going to hold it on the tongues here with one hand. And then the other hand, just tap this uh, counterclockwise here with a hammer. Just break it loose a little. Kind of did that off camera there. Just a, the lightest little tap right here is all it needed. See? All right. So with your left hand... Hold this like that, and with your right hand, use your wrench and tighten down on that nut. Tighten down until it's snug and doesn't go anymore, and you'll hear the tongues pop into the holes on that uh, lower pressure plate there. All right, I'm going to attempt an angle here for you so you can watch. Okay. Alright you guys, look down in here, those are in the holes, that, that set of four is locked, and uh, that set of four is locked, and one, two, three, four. This clutch is locked, it is ready to go in a car. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to unlock your clutches when you're... Uh, you know, when you got it back in the car. And if you break your bolt off right here, here, this is what I did here, just a hose clamp, and it actually worked great, so. All right. Get all your tools back together. You're set. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.